again, if we've all been in that situation where you walk into a doctor's surgery and they're already doing something and they're not engaging with you, that just sets someone off on the wrong foot. Yeah. Because again, we know from the research, and there's some fascinating research out there around things like the subtleties of your behaviour. So we know again um, from the research that having an open body language, being open in posture, being welcoming, giving eye contact is really, really simple things, but really important. Also, interestingly, we know that patients are watching how you interact with your team. So if they see that you're actually not communicating very nicely or think that you're aggressive, they take that on board and it actually changes their interaction with you as well. So I'm not saying, obviously, that once you're in consultation mm. that you can't write, because obviously I would need to do that even in my own consultations. But again, it's just about communicating what you're doing yeah. while ensuring someone feels heard, that they feel really listened to, and there's that active listening, which we can't always do when we're writing or typing. So again, if I was in consultation, and certainly what I teach practitioners to do, is to, at all times where you can present an open body language, with, with active listening, and that looks like often repeating back phrases that someone has said, clarifying that they're hearing the right thing, and then it's almost a permission to write. Yes. Do you mind? I'm just going to have to write some notes because I don't want to forget what you're saying. That yeah. makes them feel heard. It makes them feel important versus mm. just keep chatting. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm just going to sit here typing. Yeah.